Hi everyone, thanks for watching Optometry TV. I'm Kara Moore, I'm joined now by Dr. Chad Overman, who's here to talk about telehealth in Hi. eye care. And thanks eye for care rather. Me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So first of all, how is telehealth addressing some of the major healthcare issues we're seeing today? Yeah, so I think there's three main areas that I would talk about. It's, uh, it's the quality of the exam, the affordability, and then one of the biggest is accessibility. There's a, a very big need for patients, both rural and urban, to have that access. I talk to doctors nowadays and they tell me they've got six, seven, eight weeks of a backlog of patients. Um, that's not good for the practice and it's not good for the patients. And there are a lot of options when we're talking about telehealth. So can you explain sort of some of the different types that are available? Sure. Um, when telehealth comes up, most people think of online refractions. That's actually not the area that I like to work in. Um, I'm talking a full digital comprehensive eye exam. So really what a patient could experience uh, in your office, it's now possible through technology to have that same comprehensive eye exam. Um, so you're right, there's lots of things out there. There's, there's the online refractions, um, the new telehealth uh, that I'm really looking to and most of the new bills, we're not looking at that because we don't think that that's as good for a patient. Um, so refraction only is another one, but again, we're trying to get to the full comprehensive eye exam. Uh, I've heard that some of your exams include the use of artificial intelligence, is that right? Yeah, that's a really fun area. It, yeah, so tell me how that works. Well, so we, we take our photos, so we're taking fundus photos, wide field photos on, on every patient. Um, and then we run that through an artificial intelligence. Now, I don't expect doctors to miss, you know, large bleeds or something like that on their diabetic patients, but this will actually circle microaneurysms for a doctor so that we make sure we don't miss anything. Uh, it's just, it's a very helpful way to make sure that the patient's uh, best taken care of, and that wide field really gives us a good view. Um, how can telehealth benefit not only doctors, but also their practices in general. Yeah, so we're finding most of the doctors want to use telehealth as a satellite. Mm -hmm. So they'll open up a satellite clinic. Uh, that's one of the bigger ones. So they, uh, they have maybe two or three locations and want a, another. That's a, a great way to do it. The other is really the doctors don't want to be at their practice every minute. Mm -hmm. So nights, weekends, uh, you know, they like to take vacations too. So um, that's where telehealth can come in and be there. So uh, the tagline that we like to use is the doctor is always in. Uh, so you don't have to turn away a patient. And then others just are so busy, like I was saying before with that backlog, that they'll put it in a second exam lane or a third exam lane so that they can run those through there and then anything medical they'll just refer to their their own practice uh, so it's a, a really good way to increase the accessibility for patients that otherwise might leave your practice or might go uh, without an exam so practitioners should really be thinking about ways to incorporate telehealth yeah i think uh, it's very exciting where it's going right now we hear uh, you know it's on the front of, of everybody's mind as they're talking about it. Uh, so I think they really need to start looking. Uh, teleoptometry is here. And those that you know don't want to talk about it, uh, that's their choice. But I think it's, it's so exciting and it's so good for our patients. And then again, I like to talk about how it's good for our practice as well. All right, very good. Thanks so much for being here, Dr. Overman. Uh, thanks for having me, appreciate yeah. it. And thanks for watching Optometry TV.